Risk and Reliefers um, heading off next week. Uh, my name is Millie. I know I've spoken to a few of you over the last few months, helping with Liv and Zoe to get all your admin tidy to get you out there. A few phone calls coming in at the moment asking um, who's going to meet us, where, how, when, money, all that. So this little video should help answer all those questions. Okay, so sit tight. Starting with your flights. Okay, there are nine of you in total in the team, which is a great number. Uh, four boys, five girls. Now, three of you, Grant, Riley and Oliver, are already in Costa Rica. So I've just sent you an email asking, I really want you to be at the airport on Friday the 12th at 8.30 to meet the arrivals of Alex, Nico, Leonora and Oliver who are flying in and arrive at 12.30, at 8.30, sorry. Um, so I got kind of Tourette's, but I'm not starting again because this is about the fourth time I've started this video. Anyway, um, you're all gonna meet the leader at arrivals and be taken upstairs to the cafe for a drink and a snack while you wait for Bear and Gina, who are coming in on the New York transfer at 22.50. Now I know, you just gonna, you know, that's late, but it is what it is because the flight prices have gone bonkers and that was the best flight they could get. Okay, when you're all together, you will then be driven down to Kipos, which is about a two hour drive, but it's just best to get you there. It's a very, very straightforward journey. There'll be no traffic that time of night, so you will whiz down there. You will um, be posted into each of your homestays get your head down and try and get some sleep. But you will be all over the place because of the time difference. So best thing is have a quick power nap on the um, aeroplane, but stay awake so that you are forced through, power through the um, jet lag. Okay, so that's the flights and your arrivals time. Um, the next thing is the insurance. I hope you've all got your right insurance. Um, so we live are chasing that, so that is all good. We like to have everybody's um, insurance details just in case we have to get involved, God forbid. Hold on. Um, scuba equipment. We had the lovely cat in last week who runs the program with Georgia. She is absolutely gorgeous and she went through the kit list. So everything on that kit list is there for a reason. Please, please take it. If you have forgotten something, don't worry, there is a shop um, at the dive center where you can buy everything. It's just always a little bit more expensive. One thing Kat said is the flippers. Some people turn up with the really short flippers and some people turn up with the really long free dive flippers. You don't want either of those. You want the medium sized, normal snorkel flippers that you would, you would buy. Not those speedy things, not those long things. So that's just a top tip. Um, definitely take at least two towels. One you will keep down at the um, uh, dive school, one that you'll have in the house. But even if you take two or three, you know, just they, it's just the turnaround. You will, in the homestays, I'll come back to the homestays, have a washing facility, but everything is pretty slow. I'm just gonna remove that off my phone. Um, that's the equipment. The itinerary. Okay, so you're all going to arrive late, 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 um, Friday night, if not Saturday morning. You're all just gonna try and have a sleep uh, you know, to sleep in, and then Kat and Georgia will come to the houses. Now the houses are right next door to each other, or you know, maybe, you know, they're very, very close, which is a five minute walk from the dive center. So just chill in your houses until Kat and Georgia come Saturday morning to introduce themselves, sort you out, go through all the paperwork, take you to the dive school, take you out for lunch, get you settled and start the program. The first weekend will be a paperwork program, a paperwork kind of admin sessions, filling in all those paddy forms, your online paddy registration. We haven't sent you the links because it's just easier to do it when you are out there with Kat and Georgia um, on standby. Um, the paddy medical form, remember, you need to fill that in and take it with you, but you only need to get it signed by a doctor if you have ticked yes 
to any of the medical questions. Now the homestays are gorgeous. They are run by the Costa Rican mummers who take great pride over looking after you and there's always a competition. The two homestay mummers are great friends so they compete with the food, who's got the nicest team, who cooks the best food, you name it. There's great inter-house competition. So they, their English is pigeon English but it's amazing how everybody gets around this. You will be cooked local food. They will treat you if you want pasta or something like that, but you will often have the pasta on top of the local food. So you will get used to that. The local food is delicious, um, slightly random, but you will get used to it. Trust me, there's been no complaints from there. They cook you um, breakfast and supper and lunch. We recommend you have, there's lots of little cafes next to the dive school at the harbour front where you can get snacks. Um, just going through, that's the homestays. With there being nine, it's a really good number, plus one of the, the teachers, so you will always have a dive buddy. Um, and with nine, you will all go out on the boat together. So it's really nice from an itinerary point of view. First week, you're going to be, you know, nailing on your scuba courses and then you will start with the coral gardening, which is fascinating. So in between that, on time out, you'll be doing beach clear ups. If there's a turtles that are, you know, turtle nesting kind of locally because it is peak turtle nesting um, season. If that's, you know, there's, going, there's a nest that's um, uh, hatched, you will be whizzed down to that. So there's lots more going on. Location wise, Quipos, Quepos, however you want to pronounce it, is right below Nan Emmanuel Antonio National Park, which is the main national park in Costa Rica. So there's masses to do and explore in there, from trekking, jungle trekking, wildlife trekking, waterfalls, amazing waterfalls, just had the rainy season, so they are really powerful and abundant right now. Zip wires, you've got to do the zip wire tour loads to do also at the weekends nipping up to jacko beach here jacko beach the, trust me there's loads to do during the week when it comes to kind of socializing and drinking you know you are scuba diving so there is no powering on late night drinking yes have a couple of beers that's absolutely fine but really that's it if you turn up the next day with that, you know, looking kind of hungover, you will not be allowed to dive because it is too, too dangerous. One of the things that they always have after the day's um, activities is there is a gorgeous little bar on the, on the, um, the front where you can get all sorts of kind of snacks and drinks and things where everybody congregates. They often do a happy hour, but stop after one or two beers. Um, that is the itinerary. Money, don't try and get the local currency out before you go, it's, it's hopeless. There are ATMs there. People take a Revolut card or a Monzo, but please, please also take a debit card because sometimes a Monzo and Revolut, you know, the computer says no. So we don't understand why, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the ATMs are everywhere, especially in, in Quipo, so you can get as much money out as and when you need it. From a health and safety point of view, there's great doctors locally, um, you know, little clinics, bigger clinics, and clearly the big hospitals, should something be, you know, go badly wrong, in San Jose, which is an hour and a half to two hours away. So that is easily dealt with. When it comes to COVID, okay, and your flights, very important, remember you're flying through the States, in and out, so you will need to get an antigen test for that um, so that needs to be done within three hours pre your three days before your flight taking off and you need an American Esther okay on the return journey again you will need that antigen test to tr um, antigen test to, to transit through we will arrange for that to be done in Quipos and budget I think is about 30 40 dollars for a very fast turnaround if any of you feel that you have COVID symptoms. I know you're all double jabbed, but if you are feeling you've got COVID symptoms, please stick your hand up and we will get you tested. Doesn't mean that everybody else is going to be, you know, kind of 
quarantined, you know, we will keep it and off, off games because all the staff are now double jabbed. So it's a very different set of rules that we will work with. We will try and keep the show on the road, but clearly we need to look after and isolate that, that person who might or might not be tested for COVID. But be open. I know a lot of people just think, oh God, I just don't want to be tested. Best not know, but we need to kind of work together with this. Um, go through, girls. Anything else that you think I've missed? Oh, packing cubes. Girls say packing cubes. Super useful in your rucksack. Earplugs also super useful because it can be really noisy um, in these homestays. Dogs barking on the streets. Tropical birds going nuts. So if you're a very sensitive sleeper, take some earplugs. Other than that, next week I will send you a final um, email reminding those traveling from the UK and Nico, you've got to, from the States, you've got to get your QR code to enter Costa Rica. That will be done on the Thursday before your flight on the Friday. Um, and in that email, there will be the telephone number, the WhatsApp number for the leader picking you up. Okay, that is everything for me. Have a fabulous time and yeah, enjoy it. Cheerio.